One of the most central components of a computer network, especially in a mid-sized to large business or even especially at an enterprise level organization, is networking equipment racks. Now equipment racks provide both a very stable platform to mount all of your networking components onto, but they allow for a safer, more efficient setup overall as well. The industry standard for width on these equipment racks, up until the time this video was made, is that they're all 19 inches wide. It's not a set standard, if you will, as to the best of my knowledge, but it is a an overall accepted standard for most manufacturers or all manufacturers of networking equipment. So they're 19 inches wide. Now, they come in a variety of different heights, depending on how many components, you know, whether you're talking about switches, routers, servers, etc., how many components are actually needed for this equipment rack. You may have a wall or a ceiling mount rack that's only, say, three to four feet high for holding only a few pieces of equipment. And you may have those mounted up in the corner of a room or in a wall on a wall somewhere where they're kind of out of the way. You may also have freestanding models that actually reach from floor to ceiling. These are the huge models that hold lots of different components. Because this width, the 19 inches, has become an overall accepted kind of industry standard, most manufacturers of switches, routers, rack mounted servers, connectors, and everything in between make them to fit the kind of that kind of standard 19 inch rack. Some rack mounted servers come equipped with full out keyboards and monitors of their own. Some UPS units or uninterrupted power supplies have the capability of being mounted on these equipment racks as well. So you'll see all types of different networking components and server related components in these equipment racks the further you progress in your own networking career or business. If and when you ever get the chance to walk into a server room or what they call a cool room with a large number of these primary networking components in these racks and these cool rooms are kind of what you see on some of the more elaborate pictures. Like here's a picture of one I'll show you now. These are big cool rooms. The bigger your organization, the bigger it gets. Like YouTube has got several massive sites with these. So does Amazon. So does Google especially. Some of the bigger companies, the big tech companies are going to have massive, massive, large rooms of these to handle all of the servers, all of the switches and components that are needed. In most networking environments, in most moderately mid-sized businesses to larger corporations or organizations, you're going to find semi-decent sized rooms whereby all all of your networking and, and a lot of your server equipment is housed. And again, they use these equipment racks for that purpose. Now, aside from the 19 inch kind of standard width on these racks, there's also kind of a standardized height measurement that everyone uses in the industry, and it's called a U. And that's just short for unit. And, and yes, I know, such a mysterious new word that we're using for this. But aside from that, each U or unit of height is 1.75 inches. So when you purchase a switch, router, or server, or any other networking hardware component that you plan on putting into one of these racks, or when you're planning on putting it in an equipment rack of any kind, the height specifications for each piece of equipment are measured in U's. So most switches and routers take up one U in height, but you may have bigger routers or servers or storage arrays that measure two or three U's in height. Two U's obviously would be 3.5 inches, and you can go up to four U's. Some units take up four U's, which is seven inches in total from top to bottom. And an equipment rack may be listed as a 42 U rack. When you're looking at equipment racks, like when you're going to purchase them or looking to purchase them brand new, or the ratings on them, they they will list themselves as a 42 U or 36 U, or you know that that tells you how many height units can fit into this a single rack, meaning it can hold 42 U's of height of total equipment. Now. As you go along, you will discover that a lot of things come into play with these equipment racks. You don't always want to stack components one on top of the other, one on top of the other, all the way up and down a rack. Sometimes you may have a server or even a router or a high-speed piece of equipment that does need a lot more air circulation around it to keep it cool so it doesn't overheat and go bad on you. In those cases, you would actually leave a space or a U space in between that component and the ones above and below it, just to provide it more circulation, more cooling air. So the measurements that we use on these equipment racks, like 42 U's in height, are what allow admins, techs, and engineers 
engineers to plan accordingly when adding new equipment or moving equipment into other equipment racks. A few of the things you'll run into in the networking field with equipment racks is whether or not to have what's called a two post rack, which is usually used if you're only going to have like a server or router and a couple of switches. And this is a two post rack is whereby those components mount on the front two corner poles of the rack and they just kind of sit straight out. They don't connect anywhere else on the equipment rack, just on the front two poles. And if you need a more sturdy four post system, they call it a four post system, for mounting heavier equipment, more components, you're going to get a four post system whereby all four posts of the rack are used both in the, the both in the front and the both of those in the back. Now there are also rack mounting tracks or rails that you can mount to the rack and then mount the switch or the router or whatever piece of equipment to those rails to allow you to pull the device or piece of equipment out much like a drawer on a dresser. You can kind of slide it out to access it if you need to. And this allows you easier access if needed for maintenance or removal or replacement of the device or piece of equipment if that's needed. So that's the short and sweet of networking equipment racks and the basics of how they work, why they're needed, and what to look for on them. As you progress into a professional networking career or business, you will see more and more of them. So first chance you get, make sure to check one out and get your hands on one. Your experience will come in handy in the near future.